If you have any old album covers or books that just smell awful, I have found the solution. And today I'm going to share with you the secrets to getting rid of that musty, mildewy odor. Now this isn't my typical toolbox DIY style video, but I thought this one was worth sharing, so we're going to take a small detour today. Let's go! I'm going to start today by telling you what not to do, because there's a lot of recommendations out there that just simply don't work, and I don't want you to waste your time. First recommendation you might see, put your album covers or your books in an airtight container uh, with a bin full of baking soda. Well, I tried that. Tried it for about two months, didn't do anything. The other thing I found was these bamboo odor absorbers. These. I tried these in a container for three months, and there was a small improvement after three months, but this just wasn't working. So save your money, don't waste your time on those solutions. So I spent a few days doing research, and what I found is a solution that hunters came up with. Hunters have an odor issue with their outdoor clothing and gear from their hunting trips. They use these ozone generators like this portable unit here. Now I have some experience with larger ozone generators, so I'm not sure why I didn't think of this, but it makes perfect sense. Ozone is a gas that attaches to odor molecules, and it basically just oxidizes the odor into oblivion. Now I'm not going to go into the chemistry of it because A, I'm not a chemist, and B, you don't really care that much, but just know that it works. But we have to use these safely, so I'm going to show you how to use it safely and how to get rid of that nasty odor. Okay, first let's start with what you'll need. You're going to need a storage bin such as this one. For album covers, it needs to be at least 12 inches wide, and I recommend 14 inches deep or more. You're also going to need an ozone generator such as this portable unit. I recommend one that has a timer setting maximum of 60 minutes or more. I also recommend one that has a tube like this. Now this one puts out 500 milligrams of ozone per hour. I would recommend five or 600. I wouldn't go above 1,000 milligrams per hour unless you're willing to take some additional safety precautions. You're also going to need some rubber grommets. That'll make sense in a minute. And then lastly, I recommend some sort of stand to put your books or your album covers on. Nothing fancy. I just threw this together with some scrap plywood. Uh, the idea is to get it off the bottom of the bin and to allow air to circulate around the entire album cover or book. The first thing we want to do is make sure we have a good seal between our bin and the lid. It doesn't have to be perfectly airtight, but we want to keep as much of the ozone contained in the bin as possible. Not just for safety reasons, but that's where it does its job. So this first step's rather optional. It really depends on how well your lid fits, but you can take foam weather stripping uh, with the adhesive back and you can line the lid with that. Uh, it is rather thick. This is 3 8 inch thick, which is what I would actually recommend. It will cause the lid to sit up kind of high, so you'll probably have to uh, put books or some other weights or maybe even clamp it down uh, if you choose to go this route. This has a good enough seal in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to move on to the next step, and that's inspect your bin and make sure there are no surprises. Turns out I have four holes uh, on the handles, and I'm just going to tape those up. All right, after that, the next step is to create a hole for the ozone generator tube. And the reason we want a hole is we're going to insert a grommet, this rubber grommet here, that the hose then fits into. So we'll take a 7 16 drill bit, and uh, this grommet, I will actually show you all of the dimensions in the description down below so you know which one to purchase. And uh, I like to go on the ends here. Uh, to keep the tube out of the way of the actual uh, album covers. All right, now we're going to insert our grommet. There we go. And now you can see that um, our tube we can insert, feed our tube into that grommet, and that's it's a pretty good seal. Uh, it's not perfectly airtight, but it's enough to hold the bulk of the ozone in. Now that the bin's ready to go, I take my rack, I place it inside the bin. Now I'm going to put the album covers in there. Now 
the vinyl has been removed and I have found that the inner sleeves uh, usually have an odor as well, so those will go in the bin. I've also found that it's useful to prop open the album covers. I finally found a good use for these odor absorbers. I just put these in here, those keep it open. You could also use some leftover uh, foam weather stripping if you've got that, or you just ball up some paper. Okay, now we close up the bin. We take our ozone generator. Whoops. We, before we plug it in, we insert our tube into the grommet that we installed. Maybe shove it down an inch or two. All right, we're going to set it to 60 minutes. Okay, we're gonna set our ozone generator to run for 60 minutes, and we're gonna leave the room for two hours. Ozone's not good for you, so you really shouldn't breathe it in. Even though most of the ozone will be contained to this container, I wanna err on the side of caution. So we'll let it run for 60 minutes while it creates ozone, and then we'll let that ozone decay for an hour. Ozone's not very stable, so it has a short half-life. It doesn't take long before it sheds one of its oxygen atoms, and then it will just revert back to a regular old O2 oxygen molecule. After two hours, we're going to check it. Sometimes one session is enough. Sometimes it takes two, three. I've had some take four. That's pretty good. Uh, you will smell a difference. Uh, some people think that ozone makes it smell like fresh linen. I, I don't really pick up on that. It just smells like ozone to me. Uh, but just know that that ozone smell will dissipate over time. So it's not like you're trading one odor for another. This whole setup should cost you about $80. Uh, if you have a lot to do, like I have hundreds of albums that I inherited that I have to do, then it's definitely worth the cost. If you only have a few, then maybe it's not. Just know that this ozone generator can be used for all sorts of things. Anything that has an odor, you can use this to get rid of it. Just please don't use it on pets because ozone is also bad for them too. All right, that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share your experiences or questions in the comments down below. I'm Chris with Toolbox DIY. See you next time.